I slayed the mighty beast! My village is protected. I am the protector. I'm going to stab my dead body in the dick and we're going to go make some metal stuff because I'm the blacksmith. What is going on again, Nerd Paraders? Thank you guys so much for coming back to hang out with me today. We're playing some more Ark Primal and we're prospecting our way across the island here looking for tin ore. We're picking up from where we left off in our last episode. We were out hunting for tin ore so we could combine the tin with the copper to make the bronze and the strongest equip- well, the second strongest equipment known to primitive mankind. Welcome to the channel, guys. Thank you so much for coming to hang. I am Nick. This is Nerd Parade. Now, we've been lucky enough to actually find some tin ore. Beep, ba, beep, beep. I'm standing on it. I've claimed it. This is my version of dropping my flag. We have some here, and we're going to get it with our copper pick. We should get quite a bit. Uh, give me lots. I need lots and lots of it. I only, I've only seen what's my only one. I've been out prospecting for like 20 minutes. I only found one. 126! That's awesome. Okay, that's really, really good. Uh, in my adventures in the last episode of uh, Nerd Parade and Ball Z, we went over to the mountain area thinking that tin was going to be plentiful over there. There are plentiful resources over there for the third tier of blacksmithery, but the second tier is going to require tins, and that happens to spawn really close to the water around the oasis area, but not in large amounts. Is that guy gonna chase me? You want some? Come at me, bro. You won't. Get boat. Oh, shit! He came at me! Oh, goodbye, shirt. Goodbye, Nicholas. I can't outrun this guy. I am super dead. That's what I get for picking on a Delo. That's what I get for picking on a creature smaller than me. Operation Kit Recovery is in full effect, but once again, we're on the Nerd Parade desk screen. Feels good. Good thing I had the foresight to drop a bed around this area before I started recording. <laughs> Evil genius mastermind plans. Looking for body beam. Oh, found the Carno again. Why do you do these things to me? Ark, you are the worst. Okay, did I... Ha ha! Outsmarted. Got him. Now I just gotta find a body beam. Oh, hey, there's a body beam. Yeah, okay, he's still... Thanks, guys, base that just saved my life. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. As you can tell, this is starting out very per perilously. But it's all the tin I can collect. Yoinks. And now I gotta make a new shirt. Oh, did he spot me? Oh, he did! Shit, snacks, and patty wax. <laughs> Ow. Ha-ha! Thanks, guys, base again. I need to, like, give this guy a special gift. Since <laughs> his base has saved me twice. Okay, I'm starting to change my opinion on spike walls. That actually really helped. Oh, no! There was a cliff there. God, I hope that's not a freaking Cardo again. All right. Well, let's try that again. Third time is the thing that gets the job done. Alright, Survival Plus, we got your message. Thank you very much. And we're gonna swim back to the body. I thought the 10 ore collecting was gonna be the hard part. Turns out the 10 ore collecting is the easy part. Oh good, I'm getting motivated by a piranha right now. Thank you, piranha. I'm swimming faster, all because of your motivation. And you're probably wondering, why are you so slow, Nicholas? Why haven't you pumped any movement speed, Nicholas? Well, that would be a great idea. Except movement speed, you can't really increase it on Survival Plus. They wanted to keep that dinos are dangerous feeling. And boy, did they ever. You can't boost your movement speed. I mean, you can, but it's a waste of a level point. So don't even bother. So we've been using our points in other places and running super slow. I actually kind of enjoy it. I like when the environment is very, very dangerous and s remains dangerous. Let's just try not to jump off the cliff again. Okay, this is going to be a sketchy little down trips. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, good. Oh, I took a little fall damage, but that's not bad. I got the heartbeat super bad. Oh, what? Do I I'm injured. I'm wounded. Make sure to treat it. All right, I'll treat that later. I don't have time for wounds. I only have time for making blacksmith. Damn it, it's the Carno! <laughs> I just transferred my stuff into my non-dead body. I check. Oh shit! I 
fuck. Okay. All right. You know what? There's a lot of beds here. Let's go to the. Let's go to this rustic king bed. I think this. Is... Grumble, 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 grumble. This is just going to be a giant episode of Nick death running a car now. I'm punching the walls. I'm angry. Let me out of here. Oh, I spawned at Rip's house. So this is actually kind of an interesting uh, a moment because this is something I was going to talk about and do here in the episode today. Is as our village is expanding, I want to create like the communal tribe feel. And we're going to start to make some of these plots of longhouses. And I even had some on me earlier. We're going to try to make some of these plots of longhouses into community crafting areas and like community bedrooms. I know that sounds a little weird, but a place, common place where everybody can respond. Uh, having each person having their own individual house is nice, but it doesn't really encourage a whole lot of playing together type of thing. It doesn't encourage that tribe feeling. So until we can advance to something a little more advanced. Oh shit. Oh, he spotted. How did he spot me from here? I'm going to take him back to the damn village if I'm not careful with this, right? Get him stuck in the tree! I've somehow narrowly managed to... Oh, no, didn't do it. High ground, high ground, high ground, high ground, high ground! Ha-ha! I've outsmarted you in your tiny walnut brain! Eh. Oh, shit! I didn't make the jump! He outsmarted me in my tiny walnut brain! No! I don't hear him stomping after me. Noink. Oh, shit. Let's just... Let's not take it back to the village? No, let's not take it back to the... Let's take it to the spike walls. <laughs> I have stuff to battle you. Okay, spike walls. Go. Passive defenses. Yes, all right. We're going to battle. Epic battles. Oh, God, he's breaking... All right, it's okay. That was somebody's base. They're moving. That should have hit. God, that guy Rex, too. Oh, okay. I made him angry. 16. No teen. Jump and shoot. Jump and shoot. This is not doing a lot of damage. Okay. While he's distracted. Maybe. Oh, yes. While you're distracted. Aha! I've outsmarted the mighty beast. Uh-oh. Wait, don't run. Let me actually try to get this. This is part of our stuff. Oh, hey, I'm just going to make me fat. That's going to make me fat. Well, he's running. You know what? I'm going to let him run. We we won because we forced him to run away. I feel like it's a victory. I feel, I feel like it's a big victory. So the Cardo is likely going to come back and eat me while I'm, you know, blacksmithing. But until he does that, I'm going to savor this victory and try to turn some of this tin and copper into bronze, as well as an ingot. And maybe put my pants on. That's all I'm going to put. I, somehow, my pants are the only thing that survived the uh, the encounter. One, no, stabby stick, go. All right. Uh, okay, we got two of these guys. So another thing with the mod is that creatures, that should have hit, are very aggressive if you just get close to them. Kind of trolly. I suck. Okay, good. Oh, that actually got him. Falling out of the sky. He stole my seeds. That's a bad shot. How many do I have? I have five more arrows. Come on, that actually should have hit. Overshot it. And this is why I'm not a hunter. Come on, that should have hit. Okay, we are now perfectly out of those. I don't think I can bully you because I'm not a hunter. If I bully myself because it went up in the air, I'd be really pissed. <laughs> Come on! Uh -huh. Oh, shit. That scared me. All right, we're switching to stick. That's hatchet. Shit! I knew he was going to come back! Shit! Oh, good, he's running again. Uh, <laughs> no! Protect the village! Oh, he came back just to munch that thing? Out and my ass? 
I'll end my ass again. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> dive, dive. Okay. Uh, there appears to be uh, somebody ring the bell in the town. Ding, 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 ding. Uh, there appears to be a Carno in the area of general vicinity, and I hope that he's now pleased with eating my ass parts. Okay. I don't see numbers. We should be good. Let's climb up the rocks and follow down the rocks in my neighborhood. Okay, he's gone. Damn it, he's right there! I thought he was gonna trick me! Please get stuck on Oh shit. Oh, there's two. Okay, I don't know what's happening. I'm just dying. I don't know what's happening. I'm wounded. The lag. The sun was in my eyes. The dog had a seizure. Goldfish drowning. Also caught fire. Okay. I will get this Carno. I will kill him. I got. I have to. For my people. I must protect my people. Ow. Ow. Oh, oh, that was ineffective. The reach on this is not very reachy. Okay, now you're running away again so you can heal, you big old turd. Arrows were not as effective as the freaking pike. I'm gonna die to... I have one health. I'm gonna die to being hot. Oh, he's coming back. <laughs> Wait, maybe I can light his ass on fire. Hold still. I gotta burn you. Does that actually work? <laughs> he's not... He's not biting me. He's getting hurt from biting the things. Crouchy stab. Crouchy stab. Crouchy stab. Oh, damn, I died. <laughs> I think I died just to spike damage. Okay, we're gonna run. We're gonna light this dude on fire. Uh, you know, let's pick another bed. I think this is right next to Yoda's house. Let's go to Yoda's house. This is a death. This is a death montage video. That's what this is. Hey, the Hesperornis died, or uh, Ichthyornis. Oh, good, he got another one. Okay, now I have the high ground and no arrows. I would need so many arrows to kill this thing, though. Oh, he's bloody! Oh, he's really bloody! Stab! 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 Protect! Stab! Protect village! Stab Carno! Protect village! Stab Carno! Do the do the things of stabbing! Okay, I'm half health. We're, we got this. Keep munching those spikes. You like spikes. You enjoy them. You eat spikes for breakfast. Also, Nick bodies, but let's ignore that part for now. I slayed the mighty beast! My village is protected! I am the protector! I'm gonna stab my dead body in the dick, and we're gonna go make some metal stuff, because I'm the blacksmith! This is how we live in our crime hall! <laughs> Things are horrifying and dangerous! Carno defeated! Mighty Nick is mighty! I guess I'll put on some pants now. Again. There we go, that's I just run around with pants. Shirt out. Or, shirt off. Uh, yeah, moving right along. Okay, get in there. We want our tin ore, so tin. Uh-huh. And then we gotta get copper dust, so let's refine our copper dust. I don't actually need that. I need a sieve. Uh, copper, 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 copper. No, that's a, oh, that's, I, I can actually make another one of those. Copper, 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 copper. I'm gonna have to look. Oh, here it is. Uh, Titanomira Mound. I think I might have stored it. Uh, yes, yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, we, we have two sieves. And we can make our Titanomira poop copper. Okay, well, here we go. Okay, we're sieving that out. It's going to take a little bit. But let's see where we're at on coal. Oh, not, not good. Nothing in there. Let's go see if we've got some stored in our coal thing. Let's put this away. We don't need our stab stick anymore. We had our victory. 
Let's check our coal pile. This is why I want to make like a community crafting area so that we have all this stuff like right together instead of each individual person's house. If we need some resources, we have a common area to, to stick it. <laughs> uh, we could take out this wooden ash. I had some in here. That's fine. This is fine. And there goes the copper and light this fire. Okay, so it should consume both of these. And we'll put in another... Oh, I can't. Maybe I have to do it one at a time. We're going to watch while this crafts. Because I might have to do it ingot by ingot. Or... I don't know. This is actually kind of new for me. So I'm sciencing this out as we go together. I'm thinking it functions kind of like a cooking pot. Like one thing will happen if conditions are met. So you'll cook a certain recipe if these ingredients exist. And I think that might be kind of what happens. But since this is a smaller thing, bronze ingot, it worked. It worked, okay. Oh, and I have the ingot mold in there. Uh, do I only need one mold? If I do, that's awesome. I can just set this and set it and let it go. Oh, what's this? What's C? Uh, low on carbs. I'm low on carbohydrates. I get a. I have a macronutrient deficiency. Can I? I can't get carbs from meat, but maybe I can get carbs from sawdust. Oh, here. I actually just demolish those because I was thinking about moving my house. I'll steal all my stuff from my pots. I was gonna, yeah, I was gonna dim on my house and do something with the primitive longhouse, give it bet, uh, bigger and better. But I got some fertilized pariser eggs. There we go. You can get those eggs from nests and stuff around the area, so I just happened to snatch one up from a nest, and I was like, oh, maybe I'll hatch this out later. Ooh, there's hammerheads. Oh, let me pull that out then. Oh. Oh, wait! I can make blacksmith hammers now. Uh, hammer heads, let's put you in here. I need a crude shaft, and I can make my thing. I think I got a crude shaft right here. I now have a blacksmith's hammer. Used to craft advanced metal items. Dun, 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 dun. Which means that we'll start to be able to craft... I can't get to iron yet. Uh, although iron ore is way easier to get than tin. I could do bronze. And we can get bronze toolage. But I think I need an, an actual anvil. Sharpening wheel, we did that one. Metal anvil. Okay, I think I can craft a metal anvil if I have 12 sturdy ingots. Now let's see. I'm 99% sure that bronze... Oh crap, I made more hammerheads. Okay, there's another ingot. We need to put more copper dust in here. Great. There's another bronze ingot. Leave just the ingot mold in there. We don't need more hammerheads. I believe bronze ingot qualifies as sturdy. It does. Too sturdy. Perfect. Perfect. A metal anvil is the next thing I need to make because I'm going to have to make bronze-shaped pick blades, hatchet blades, etc. So... After epic battles, we now need to let this, this forge do its thing. Also, one of the reasons why I want to make the community kind of crafting area. So, we're going to work on some of that here. I think I'm going to make the smith Ari, The smith Ari down here. I like the idea of the smithery being like kind of right here on the rock. So, I'm going to turn this longhouse and the area in the vicinity into a forge area. So we'll put down rock storage, coal storage, all that kind of stuff. And then we can use this as a community forge. And to start to do that, we need crude planks, which we have a ton of. We'll put you in there because we're likely going to need more plant strings. I think I got some of this stuff on me since I'm running around with everything. Everything. No strings that I see. Thatch. I think we had some thatches on me. 73. This plant stuff is spoiling into thatch. And... What else was that? Bark. Do we have bark on me? Uh, no. We don't seem to have bark. But what we could do is run around and get that get that stuff, collect that stuff from the community. Since we're becoming more of a community-driven 
tribe and things of that nature. These spikes oh, saved asses today. So sp I'm changing my, the way I think about spikes. I'm going to break my stuff down and we'll use my stuff first. Uh, we have lots of stone and crap. I don't really need this, so we're going to get rid of it. Uh, oh, that actually, somebody crafted that for me and it had metal nails. Hey, all right. Well, I accidentally got metal nails, but it's not a very useful storage device. Do I have anything in here? I still have the bricks that were made. That stuff is there. That's fine. All this stuff can stay for now. And I'll... Let's actually break my door. I'll live in another one of the longhouses that we make. Let's take everything out of you. I can pick you up. I can pick up my bed. Uh, got more... Oh, got more tin ore. That's good. And coins. We're going to break you. These bark chests suck. I'm really fat. Uh, demolish. And we're going to break my house. Great. Okay, house has been demolished. We're taking the express way down. Not yet. we got to get bark. Which I think I had some in here. I did. Okay, we got bark. Now we're taking the express way down. Bloot. And... Barks and plant parts and all good stuff. Uh, crap. Search. I gotta make more use of this search function. I'm bad at it, I know. Okay, barks are overloaded. Thatches needs to be overloaded. Okay, we got 210. Uh, let's see. Clay. I don't think I picked up any clay. Two. Ooh, we need a lot more clay. That means... Oh, we're super fat still. My carbohydrates are down again. I just fed my fat self. Can I do this? Ah! Nothing in there. <laughs> I'm throwing just random things into the house for storage. It'll be fine. We're doing what the caveman would do. Aha! Here we go. We've got the clay trough. This automatically produces the clay for us. So I'm going to steal out of it. It's a community clay trough, so we're going to grab all that we can. Thank you, Clay Trough. We need to make many more of yous. Uh, let's take our fat self back. Still carbohydrate deficient. Even though I ate those two delicious dinosaur eggs. I guess there's not a whole lot of carbs and eggs, but we'll uh, eat some berries along the way, I guess. Yeah, there's two berries we can eat. I do enjoy the, uh, the food stuff. My carbohydrates and vitamins have increased thanks to those two delicious berries. Feels good. All right, I'm going to put a clay trough down actually right in front of the blacksmith, too. And that thing is irrigated. It's really, really smart. And I have it's something that I haven't tinkered with. But it's a uh, constant stream of clay coming in. Uh, I don't need uh, half of that stuff on there, but that's that's all right. I need to get my head around what else I need to put in here. Oh, no, no, no. Not cold TT. I'm trying to tee stuff into the inventory. I think it might be full. Yeah, it's full. That's why I can't get anything else in there. Well, bring this stuff back to me. Put you in. And we definitely have that. Definitely have the bark. We need the strings. Uh, need the... Got the fiber. Just need the strings. We just need the plant strings. All right. In that case, let's go looking for the strings now. Or we'll just gather some plant fibers and turn that into fiber and do our own strings. So we can start some of this crafting along the way. It's going to be slow. Makes me even slow. But we do need the strings. We're gonna sew our way into a new house. With everything gathered, we're ready to actually build our long house. And it looks pretty cool. It actually looks like it's built into the... I like it. It looks like it's built into the stone. This looks very blacksmith-esque. Okay, with my remaining stuff, I'm gonna try to craft some forges. Uh, oh, nope. I guess I have nothing. I need more clay and way more plant strings. Okay. Well, we need an ass ton of those. And the clay I can get from the trough. I'm just going to run and grab that here really quick now. The plant strings have been kind of a pain in the butt. I've been having to borrow them from members of the village. But since we're all coming together to work towards the communal tribe feel li of, of living in this village, I want the communal areas where crafting can be done. Uh, each person can still have their own individual house. And then we'll also do a huge castle once we can. That's going to require some masonry tier. And I have respect so that I can pick that up. We need so many more of these troughs. It's not even funny. I didn't mean to take the bucket, but that's okay. Oh, and I'm still really fat. I'm going to drop some stuff up here in this uh, in this house. 
Oh, this is like a crafting hut. I like what they've done here. I'll use a storage device to put some of my more heavy stuff in it. Uh, like this iron ore. I don't want to get rid of the iron ore. The stone and stuff we could put in there. I just stored clay, but that's fine. Some of this stuff, just to stop weighing me down. And now that I know that these are existing, we can have the rest of the tribe make some of these boxes. Instead of the primitive style boxes that we've been using to save space. I'm excited. The fog is really rolling in. I need to go borrow some more plant strings, and it's going to be from this house up here. And we'll make copious forges so that we can make copious amounts of ingots. We had quite ourselves an adventure today, guys. We fought off a Carno single-handedly. Not professionally, but we did fight him off. We are also progressing our blacksmithing tiers by going to bronze and sturdy ingots. I really would like... Okay, I'm going to steal a lot of these. I really would like to make a uh, the metal anvil. So I can work on bronze armor for the crew. If I get surprised these guys with a full set of bronze armor and bronze tools, I'm going to be the beloved blacksmith of Nerdtopia. Uh, let's go forge and let's see. Let's just do A. How many can I make? 20? Maybe not 20. I'll do 10. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make 10. But this is why I leave you, Nerd Paraders. Thank you so much for coming to hang with me in Nerdtopia today. I hope you enjoyed this episode enough to drop a thumbs up on it. Let me know that you like the stuff that way. If you haven't done so yet, be sure to subscribe to the channel for some more videos so you don't miss any of the cool action, primitive style coming your way. But most importantly of all, remember to take care of yourselves out there. Stay awesome, and we'll catch you in the next one.